What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Gamescom 2022. Jeff Keighley did a Twitter Spaces today, and he talked a little bit more about what Gamescom is going to be. I've actually, for a while, been very, very uh, positive on this. I thought last year's Gamescom was honestly the best maybe Jeff Keighley's show in a while, but easily the best Gamescom in, in many, many years. I'm tough on Jeff Keighley when I need to be, but I also give the guy a ton of credit for just you know what he does for games and the enthusiasm he has. But I thought last year's Gamescom honestly crushed it. It was one of the more consistent, like it didn't have opening 20 minutes were great and then the rest was complete garbage. Like, you know, sometimes they're a little uneven or not even a little, they are uneven. Gamescom was not, uh, last year at least. This year, hoping for the same thing, hoping for a really, really great show, and then, you know, finish us off at the Game Awards. Well, Jeff Keighley talked about it, and now we know it's a two-hour event. I'm going to be co-streaming it, by the way. That That's for sure. I'll do a predictions video, like, the day before or the day of, so we'll have coverage leading up to it, and then, you know, when it's on, I'll be co-streaming it on the channel. We know a couple games that are going to be there. Sonic Frontiers was one that really stood out to me, and, and he announced it. Uh, that that's going to be there so that should be interesting we should get a release date for that game which i'm actually gonna maybe put a 50 50 percent chance that uh it gets delayed till 2023 and you'll see why you'll see why so one of the big things he talks about is that there's going to be more than 20 games on the stage it's going to be basically a mix of gameplay and trailers you know a, a classic jeff Keeley experience right some games will probably be like eight nine minutes and you'll say all right can we move on to the next thing and some games will be very short but there's going to be uh, more than 20 games on the stage and they have a mix uh, they have a mix of games that have already been announced and a fair number of new games announced as well so that's very exciting we've got some good stuff he said we haven't really announced the lineup of companies that will be there but i think we got some cool surprises and things i think people wouldn't expect to be there there are a lot of games we're gonna have two hours of content to show you including gameplay clips trailers and announcements this year is a lighter year for releases that are coming out later this year so a lot of the stuff will be about what's coming in 2023 and beyond but yeah, I think people will be hyped. I'm very excited for fans to see stuff and be in the room. Remember, it's alive. You can go and watch it. So that's very, very cool. So what's interesting there, right, is the whole, they have some cool surprises and things that I don't think people would expect to be there. Now, it's a biasness, but the first thing I think of is Hogwarts Legacy. Nobody would expect, and I, and I don't think it'll happen, but nobody would expect a game like Hogwarts Legacy to be there. And then if it was there, that'd be pretty shocking. However, let me just say, considering the next lines he says is pretty much like it's gonna be geared towards 2023 games and beyond not so much games that are releasing at the end of this year so that's an interesting one right because you could do like call of duty you could do gotham knights you could do a hogwarts you could do sonic and you are doing sonic and sonic is supposed to come out holiday 2022 so that is supposed to be this year but again, you just need one small little delay, and Sonic is next year. Hogwarts is next year, right? Like, if you make that small delay. So, like, you know, I, I don't know how to contrast those two different statements. Games that people wouldn't expect to be there. Maybe Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, I know a lot of people have mentioned. I know, by the way, I'm talking a lot about, like, Warner Bros. games. I mean, maybe that's signaling, like, Nintendo. You wouldn't expect Nintendo necessarily to be there, but maybe they show something for... Bayonetta or Breath of the Wild 2 or Sony you again wouldn't maybe necessarily expect them to be there maybe they show something up but they can't show Last of Us multiplayer but maybe they show a brand new game or something I mean again the well I, I want to make sure we're all clear right like the possibilities are endless quote unquote but I'm not expecting you know the greatest thing of all time I think people oftentimes mistaken uh, my hype for things I mean I, I do think it'll be a good show so we'll see what happens but those are two very interesting comments 2023 and beyond i mean like bioshock would be something that comes to mind i would say grand theft auto but for that to appear at gamescom i would feel like the game awards makes more sense for that but something like bioshock kind of makes sense that's a game that we know is happening we know is real 
but like you wouldn't put money on it right that it would be shown because it's still like a while out but you could do a teaser trailer for it like you know what i mean you absolutely could or something for fable you know that's a far out game but you can maybe do that i don't starfield i mean there's a lot of possibilities you know you can only have 20 ish you know 20 25 games we can't do like 50 games here but uh, the, the possibilities are definitely endless so let me know what you guys think make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one